Hi, this is Daryl. Just want to give you a quick update about the recent release of the W3C Verifiable Credentials Standard. Um, it's a huge milestone. Kudos to everyone involved. Um, you know, I've had a little small, tiny role, but the people who have been doing all the hard work over the past couple of years, um, you know, great job. Wanted to speak a little bit about why it's important, why we think at CU Ledger that it's crucial that we, you know, take this and move forward with it. Um, really, our job at CU Ledger is to serve the credit unions, the global financial cooperatives, um, partly by helping set some of those early standards that things are being built upon, kind of those Lego blocks that, that the new sort of decentralized web it doesn't have to be decentralized, but it just makes it a lot easier to exchange. So at CU Ledger, we're really all about how do we help our members um, control their privacy better? How do we help their overall experience so that things look and feel a lot more natural? Um, we're always concerned about privacy. You know, our whole mantra is, you know, private by design, uh, secure by design, and secure by default. What's really helping on this is standards like the Verifiable Credential Standard, uh, specifically the part where we're very focused on the non-correlating aspects of that, meaning I can't use these credentials to learn more about you than you're really willing to, to, uh, to admit or to release to me. But underneath all of this really gets down into kind of plumbing. It's a really deep um, technical spec. It's not something any members are going to see unless they're deep into into uh, into tech. But it'll work, um, and our goal is to make sure that it will work in an interoperable way in that it'll work across different systems. Still work to be done on that. Um, and this is why we're you know big fans of using groups like W3C um, and seeing them publish key piece of information that allows us to know that we're not building something here that is going to be fundamentally useless because new standards and a new way of doing things and someone found a better way of doing it. There's been a lot of examples of that. So we, in, in, in the house, it's not for the young ones, but the beta VHS fight, um, arguably not necessarily a technology issue. That was an overall product marketing issue. But if you invested in the wrong piece of kit, bought all your beta, beta max tapes, Suddenly, you can't get them anymore when you went to that, went to go use them. In the identity space, we've seen similar. Uh, Liberty Alliance was a good example of something that had great intent. Um, just didn't pan out, though. But over time, we're continuing to um, support whether that is a you know directly uh, participating, uh, funding, um, as well as just influencing and guiding some of those other initiatives that are out there, whether that be the W3C, um, Hyperledger, uh, Decentralized Identity Foundation, DIFF, uh, recently we joined that. Um, we're looking at the Trust Over IP project. We're doing this so that the credit unions have that plumbing underneath, that they have these pieces that are there to make our lives a lot easier, a lot more secure, a lot more private. Hopefully that helps. Talk to you later.